there, welcome back to the channel. It's Amy with Notes from Past Amy. We are ready for the March pen report. Got all the dry times, price per mil, color numbers from my system, pen numbers, which is really their ink, not ink, um, their nib numbers. So we're going to fill in these top parts. I've got this a little bit compact, so I can put eight on a page since that's what I had inked, or what you knew about. Uh, I am really surprised at how much this changes between the beginning of the month and the end of the month. You'll see what I mean as we go through. So we're going to start with nib 65, which is this really cute, literally medium Yovo nib. And I'm pretty sure that branding is specific to the Herbert Penco. So this is actually an Abigail Markov body with the Herbert medium nib. And it's really lovely. I have not had any issues with flow in this pen nib combination. I am amazed at how well this seals. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was a little uh, concerned with the, what is this, resin and metal combination there, but it has been really, really lovely. This is a one-of-a-kind pen. The nib performance has been beautiful. Size and shape, the grip is too small, but you know, we're just kind of working on that. Otherwise, it's a beautiful length. The material is gorgeous, and I got it for good price. She recently raised her prices, and uh, yeah, so I'm happy that this is still in the two range. <laughs> the low side of the two range, not right under. The kind of the limit of where I want my pens to be. Uh, this just helps me keep track of the overall value, which I'll get to later. I don't feel ready to do that part at this time, but eventually that's what the data over there will be used for. I sound really funny today, don't I? I feel like I sound lower than usual, even to me. Okay, so this is the color of Peacock Flare. I have not used this combination a ton because the color match is not great. Um, it's too green for the bits of blue that you can see down in this body. And I don't like that. Also, I keep this one on the desk, so it's not quite as easily accessible. It, it was working beautifully, but I think the color has something to do with it. So color match is not great. The flow is fantastic. The dry time dries it in about 10 seconds, so that's great. And it's about 18 cents a mil, which is under 20 cents, so great. Let's not forget the color here, which is Diamine Shimmertastic. Love that line, and it's it's not Frosted Orchid, it's a peacock something. Peacock Flare, that's what it is. Peacock Flare. Yeah, nice and shimmery and lovely, but it's always too green. Every pen I put it in, I feel it's too green, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Should I put this back on the tray? Yeah, sure, I'll put it back on the tray, and then I'll put them all away later. I might end up mixing it. I'm trying to find a pen it just looks great in, but it's always too green. So that's where we're standing on that one. Here we go, pen 51. It was actually 50, but then I messed it up because I waited so long for this to come in. It's my only Leonardo. Momento Zero Grande, not currently available, sorry. It's the Fiorchura Viola. We're just going to put Viola here. And I got it in a fine nib, just a standard fine because I wanted that La Fenici pattern, which is beautiful. She's been working well for me perfectly I'm still not gonna say perfectly because sometimes the line is thicker than at other times and it's just randomly I haven't gotten the ink blobs like I did a couple of times with pansy um, this is cross violet but I'm not absolutely convinced that it's where I want it Size and shape's fairly good. It could be a little, a little bit bigger, but it's it's very close. Price. This is my terrible price. I don't want to hit this price for any pen, but I did it because it reminded me of my brother, and it was like a get it now or never get it again. It is one of 40 pieces, I believe. So not one of a kind, but, oh, I think it's on the cap. Two of 40, yes but still very limited. So I know sometimes that affects, you know, how 
you perceive a pen and I feel like it should rate into the overall value. So we've got it under uniqueness there. Color match is beautiful. This is one of the colors that inspired the body here. So a beautiful color match. I wish this ink was more readily available. It's not, it's not crazy expensive. It's about 30 cents a mil. So not quite a value ink, but close. Flow is, I've had no trouble with it. You can see on the bottom, there's a green sheen to the ink. I don't have that in my writing on the paper I use with this fine nib. I'm going to go ahead and say it's a five. Dry time is also really good. I love Stylogy paper for that reason. It's one of my top reasons. I love Stylogy paper because it dries really quickly. All right, here's a smaller pen. So we're going to hold it up here. Nib 52 is my scroll nib. Look at this gorgeous piece of art from Hooligan, Georgia. This makes the value of this pen, as far as price is concerned, terrible. <laughs> but it's a beautiful combination. I love this material. And it was my first custom pen, so it's got that place in my heart as well. It's made by River City, or it was made by River City. I don't think he has this material anymore. It's from 21, 22 era. As far as I could tell, it was a custom make uh, that tapers and I couldn't find it anywhere on their social media. Social media. Well, I need to go back to bed. Um, so I think it was just specifically for that person and then it was shipped directly to that person and never put on their social media at all. But I am speculating because this was before I got into pens. I just went back as far as I could and found all the information I could about these um, blanks. They were by who is now Coral Creations, C-O-R-L-L. -L. And it's beautiful. I first saw this blank. Where did I first see this blank? It was a bigger named channel or page, Instagram, however you rate that. And was it Nibs and Flourishes? And I loved it. And so when I saw this one come up on Reddit, it's performing really well with this ink. Price, terrible. This nib was about twice the body of the pen and that was used and it's just, as far as price, it was terrible. But I saw it on Reddit, I couldn't resist. Really wanted a custom pen, loved this blank. It had been saved on Instagram and so I don't regret it, but it kills me every time I get to this price column, <laughs> or row rather, column is up and down. This is Diamine's ama Amazing, oh my, Amethyst. And I always want to love this ink, and I never do. Every once in a while I give it another try, and it just, it's okay. I'm not hating the ink so much this time, but the color match is not good. This is way too red for this body. It's not a good match <laughs> at all. And I feel like this ink overall is just a little too gray for me. It's not inspiring. The flow is lovely with this ink. The dry time is great. I don't like the color match. Um, but the price of this ink, I got this ink on sale. The 30 ml bottle was just over $2. So it came out to seven cents a milliliter, which is really good. Okay, we've got a couple of newbies here. See these really plain ones? These are not a great size, but I will give the Pilot 742 a step over, or an edge over, however you want to say this, the 3776. Look at the length there. Yeah, that's why I think the 3776 is compared to the 74, not the 742, because clearly a size difference there. Also, the 742 size 10 nib is a lot closer to the 3776. When you see the just regular 7.4 held up against the 3.776, the nib looks so small, which is why I never went for the Pilot Custom 7.4. I didn't want a nib that small. Okay, so the 7.4.2 is next. It's Pen Experience 64, Pilot Custom 7.4.2, and this nib is the Soft Fine Medium. I put Conklin Dusty Rose in here, I feel the same way about this ink as I did about the last one. It's just a little bit too gray. Prices vary on it, 
the bottle of ink is between $12 and $18, so I picked a middle of the road price for my bottle since I got it in the Hollywood subscription box. I didn't actually pick it and purchase it at a specific price. So my price is based on the $15 Atlas price, Alkaline Dusty Rose. I don't hate this ink and it works great in this pen. It's just not that inspiring. I wish it were rose without the dust. I think that's it. In my system, it's number 1096. Color match. It's not black. Is it what I want to see out of this pen? I don't know. It worked well, so we're going to say it works great. I don't know what color I want to come out of here, so it works well. We're just going to go with that. Flow seems to be really, really good. I've had a really good time with this nib. Dry time. Dries in about 10 seconds, so that's really good. And at a $15 price point for the bottle, it comes out to exactly 25 cents, which is over 20 cents, so not terrible. Uniqueness. This pen is not unique. It is not the size I prefer, and I got a pretty good deal on it, so price at this point is a great value. Um, it will be changing when it gets another body, which means I have to buy the flexible nib factory like converter nib unit thing and all that's going to affect it. But for now, the price is quite good. This is, as I've mentioned, my Platinum 3776. Oh, and that price is so low because I bought it used. If you noticed, it's engraved. Yep, no one else wanted to buy it, so I finally did. Ultra extra fine. I smoothed this, uh, smoothed this a little bit when it first came in, and I do not regret that. I actually rewatched that video the other day, and yeah, really glad I did that. I barely put the pen to paper and decided, yep, we need to run this over some nice high-numbered sandpaper, which probably have proper names like Mylar or what are the other names? You can buy them specifically as sheets and such, but yeah, it's strange to be using this when it's not for like, fine liner work, but anyway, uniqueness, not unique. Nib, I'd say almost perfect. I might go ahead and put it over some more sandpaper, just a pass or two because it's a little inconsistent. And I paid 80 for this, so um, same range as the custom 742 but if you notice there it's not quite consistent see how the top of the one is make sure I'm in frame it's thicker than the bottom yeah so it's close to where I want it and I think it depends a little bit on the angle so I might as I said run it over some more sandpaper but it's really close and much much better than when I first received it. Platinum Carbon Black. Color match. This is exactly what I want to come out of here. So yes. Flow something's either in the nib. Oh, see, I should floss it because that could also be it. This is a uh, particulate, a pigment ink. So maybe I've got a little bit of pigment stuck in there. That could be it as well. I should do that right after this. Dry time. It's a really thin line. It's going to dry really fast. And I paid 24 cents a mil for this. Got it on Amazon in this, no, November of 22. One of the, no, the first. It was still one of the first, but it was actually the first ink I bought. And I don't use it a lot, but I think that fine liner application in the Ultra Extra Fine is going to be how I use most who knows maybe all of that bottle I like how it comes out a little bit gray so it's exactly what I was looking for just not convinced with the flow this looks really dark again okay so this is the Robert Oster cities of America Miami I don't know if it's the ink or the pen, but it darkens so quickly. If you go ahead and use this pen and use this pen and use this pen, you know, 10 minutes or so, then you will have a much lighter, probably half this darkness of ink. 
color, but the way it is right now, it's dark again. It's super, super dark. I'm not loving this pairing of the Miami ink in this pen. Flow, you can see we're struggling a little bit with flow. When I got it going, we're fine, but this I think is a dry pen, or maybe that's a dry ink. I'm not sure. I need to finish Kenton Craft's video on ink wetness. That might help me out. And this ink sells for $18 for 50 mil. It can be more, but generally the price around town is 18 for 50 mils, which puts it at 30 cent, 36, 36, 36 cents. See, once in a while, it's not consistent. Um, 36 cents a mil. That's what I was saying there. Hmm, we were getting along fine yesterday, but it seems like I'm having some issues with it today. It is a uh, number, this isn't number two, is it? No, number 30 of 43. Nib, we're having some issues with the nib. It's not awful. It's not all the time. Let's write this first and then I'll decide what to put here. See? This is not the Aventus. This is the Partenope. They're the same size. This is a gold nib. Gold colored and actual like 14 karat. 14k fine. I'm not super impressed yet with this nib. Size and shape is great. Good length. I hold it almost at the grip. Price was higher because it's a gold nib, and I did get this one new. It's very half and half today with my used pens and my new pens. This color we saw in the currently inked for March, but it was in a different pen, and I've used all of this and something else, and I think maybe we're on to another color even in that pink Jinhao. But I decided to keep this color color in my review because it's a color that I mixed and is this the actual color this isn't the right color this is from 16 is from pink it's another pink I did this is pink orchid I need to erase that there we go did you know custom 74 also has a pencil yep also engraved but a really nice pencil. Okay, so I don't know what color this is, but this I've called Pink Orchid. It's main ingredient, custom color, is Frosted Orchid from Diamond Shimmertastic. This color match is beautiful. The flow is fantastic. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's enough pink. It's a little bit purple, but mostly pink. I like it so much. It takes a lot longer to dry. This Omniflex is not nearly as fine as some of the others. It's more like the soft, fine medium. But this ink does take a lot longer to dry. We're sitting at about 45 seconds, so not nearly as quick. Um, the other ink I mixed it with was cheaper, but since it's mostly Frosted Orchid, I took the price for Frosted Orchid, which I paid $9.12 for 50 mils, and that's going to be our price here. $0.18 cents a mil puts it under 20 so a good value. This nib is number 49, and it's an Omniflex in Bone Crusher. I call them by name, so I forget sometimes. I have to think about who made them and what I'm supposed to be putting in this box. See how pink it is? A lot of beautiful shimmer. Really enjoyed this ink. The nib performance is great. I can color so easily with this pen, which is probably why it's a bigger dry time, but I think the return is well worth it. Size and shape, this is one of my biggest and best fitting pens. I hold it just like the Mayora. And the price, this combination is just under 200. It could be just over 200 depending on what you pay for the Rose Gold Omniflex. It is a little harder to find. Pen Chalet had it on sale. So, yes. Mine is just under 200. <laughs> pen 2. You can see I'm using a lot of like 
around 50 to into the 60s. That's basically where my collection is. I've sold most of those lower numbers. But this one I still have and use. Is it the best size and shape? No. Was the price fantastic? Yes. Not unique at all. I guess you could count the sparkles and make that more unique. But I've always had a really good nib performance and it just... I don't know. The snap cap maybe affects it. The sparkles are charming. I don't know what it is about this one. I think it has a lot to do with the nib and I don't have pink pens that use shimmer. I'm working on like this pinky magenta type of color for the bone crusher, but just a pink pen, there's none. And I was looking at getting a custom pink pen for my birthday pen this year and the blanks even are difficult to find. I don't know what exactly to do about that. I'm just gonna wait on it and I can't use this pen for a long time. As the grip, look at that, just way too small. So if I hold it back here, then we're okay. I can do like maybe half a page maybe before I have to stop and flex and such, but it is what it is for now. I can use pink ink and test out the colors. This one handles shimmer really well, so that's really nice, but yeah, that's where we are. Color match, not the best. It's too bright, but it flowed really well. I always have great success with this pen. The dry time was good. And this, what ink is this? This is not Diamond Carnation. I have used all of that. That's what we started the month with. It is now Graf von Faber Castell. I don't have enough room. We're just going to write it here. Electric. Turek. There we go. Pink. And yes, it is very electric. So it's too bright. It's a great pink. It's just hurting my eyes a little bit. So I looked up the wrong color for this. Faber-Castell inks are 32 for 75 mils as memory serves. So we're going to have to do a quick calculation on that. It's not as the value as some of the other inks. Oh, also this is off now. That's not right. I knew I changed the ink in here and I completely forgot when I copied over the currently inked. Uh, and this is just a Safari, Lummi Safari. It's not any limited edition of any kind. It's just pink, in case you hadn't guessed, in a medium nib. Okay, so phone, how much per mil if we pay 32 for 75 mils? Comes out to about 42 and change. Okay, so we'll put 42. As you can probably find this on sale somewhere. I forgot I was about to change this part. This will eventually get erased, but this is how I like set it up for the video. And 42 puts it squarely in the three. So maybe like a birthday ink, if you're asking me. Two has to be really special occasion. You're paying 50 to 75 cents a mil. And if it's over 75 cents a mil, no, I'm just gonna be trying to duplicate the color if I feel I need it that badly. So there we go. I will look up that number. You don't care about that number anyway. And here's the like, beauty shop. Pens from March 2024. Some really lovely combinations. Some things to think about, that's for sure. I will be back next week with April's currently inked. Wow. Everyone have a lovely Easter. I will see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.